Meet Stewie, a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel born with a cleft palate, which is an open hole on the roof of his mouth that prevents him from nursing effectively. This caused him to become severely malnourished. He is fighting for his life in overcoming his cleft palate, hydrocephalus, open fontanelle, umbilical hernia, dry eye, and a chronic sinus infection while maintaining his amazing will and love for life. Stewie doesn't know any other way of life, and it's truly amazing that he keeps up his high spirits despite his difficulties. At two weeks of age, he was examined at All Care Pet Hospital in Muckleteo, where I work as a technician. He was severely underweight and lethargic. The breeder was fighting to keep him alive, but he was barely holding on. I, Jen, went into the exam room to check him in and instantly had a gut feeling this little guy was going to be coming home with me. After my vet did the exam, they were discussing whether or not to make the tough decision of euthanizing him due to his hydrocephalus and his cleft palate which is unfortunately a common practice amongst the veterinary world. None of us wanted this to happen, and when my vet came out of the exam room, she had him in her hands. She looked up at me, and without her saying a word, I told her I would be willing to try keeping him alive. I talked with the breeder and told her I would be willing to take him. A wave of relief and emotions washed over her. My vet, Dr. Torgerson, brought him to me after the breeder said her goodbyes, and it hit me that his life was now in the hands of myself, my coworkers, and my husband, John. Then I realized I hadn't even called my husband. When we spoke, he was understanding and agreed that we couldn't euthanize a puppy. We had to give him a fighting chance. I planned to keep him until he was strong enough to find another home. That didn't last long. John and I both fell in love with him, and instantly we knew he had found his forever home. Stewie might be our adoptee, but he is truly everyone's dog. All of our family and friends are very supportive and love him too. The saying, it takes a village, is very true with Stu. We need and appreciate all the help we can get keeping this little guy going. When I got home, my chihuahua Spicy instantly became his surrogate mom. She helped him swallow his food, go to the bathroom, and kept him warm. It was truly amazing to watch her with him. However, we had, and still have, some major learning curves feeding and caring for him. We had to keep changing the food and milk replacement consistency, as well as the feeding methods. There were several close calls, including a seizure the first night, choking, aspirating, severe constipation, and a constant sinus infection. It's been touch and go for the first month. Stewie has since doubled in weight five weeks later, weighing in at a whopping one pound, while his siblings weigh more than three times as much. He now eats every three to four hours during the day instead of hourly. He still needs to be closely monitored while feeding. Food still comes through his nose periodically while he eats due to his cleft palate. His nose needs to be wiped and sucked out with a baby nasal bulb so he can breathe. After he's done eating, he loves to play, and he plays hard. Stewie enjoys jumping around and chewing on his toys. He also enjoys playing with Spicy, our other chihuahua mix, Frankie Biggs, and our two cats. Every time I see him play, it makes it all worthwhile. He has maintained his strong will to live and enjoys every minute of his life. Washington State University can do his cleft palate surgery when he is around 16 weeks of age. The surgery is going to cost between 1400 to 5000 We are starting a donation fund for Stewie so we can pay for his surgery and other medical bills that are accruing. Luckily, I work at a veterinary clinic and his costs are minimal, but they are still adding up for his antibiotics. If we raise more than we need to cover his medical bills, the remaining funds will be donated to two nonprofit organizations. The Orthopedic Foundation for Animals is dedicated to promoting the health and welfare of companion animals through a reduction in the incidence of genetic disease. One of the amazing things they are doing is researching a way to test dogs to see if they carry a mutated gene responsible for causing cleft palates. The other nonprofit is the Mia Foundation that was developed to give animals born with birth defects a fighting chance. Please help me share Stewie's story. People should know that a cleft palate does not need to mean a death sentence. With enough care and love, these pets can go on to live normal, long lives after their surgery. Thank you. Stewie, Jen, and John Roberts.